So welcome back to Silicon Valley Cycling Center and RoadBikeReview.com's series on power meters. Uh, today I'm actually going to be covering uh, the software that comes with the different power meters that we've covered so far in our series. And I'm also going to talk a little bit at the end about an aftermarket uh, third-party software solution called WKO, or more commonly known as Cycling Peaks, um, that's uh, very popular among uh, athletes, coaches, professionals who train with power meters. Uh, so we'll start right uh, in the same order that we covered the, uh, the power meters themselves. I'll start with the software called SRM Win, which is provided with the SRM power meter. Um, of all the software I'm going to show you today, SRM Win uh, is by far the most rudimentary looking. Uh, I joke that it kind of looks like somebody's college homework assignment that they cranked out over the weekend because from an appearance standpoint, um, it's not very slick uh, or very pretty looking, but it gets you the data and it gets you the ability to analyze it properly and in fact has a few cool features that some of the others don't have. Um, one important point I'll make about each of the software is uh, their OS compatibility. Um, and like most of the software that I'll talk about today, SRM Win is only uh, PC compatible. It's not yet Mac compatible. So uh, for those of you who are, who are Mac devotees, that may be something to consider. So um, real quick, let's just take a look at the software. Um, it, it gives you the basic ability to look at your power data versus time, uh, which is probably one of the most important things. Uh, and, like the, um, and like some of the other software, it also gives you the ability to configure the, the power meter and, and the head unit called the power control uh, from the PC. So when it comes time to program your training zones, when it comes time to program you know, basic data like date and time, um, and configure the display on the power control. You do all of that through the software on the PC. And so you don't have to spend a lot of time mucking around, clicking through the buttons on the power control. So that's pretty handy. Um, one thing that I would uh, point out here on, um, on the uh, one thing that the SRM Win does have that's kind of unique is uh, it gives you this uh, scatter plot which shows heart rate versus power data and it gives you basically uh, the correlation to those between those and this kind of gives you the ability to look at what's known as cardiac drift which is uh, fluctuation in heart rate versus power numbers over the course of the ride. Typically for a given power output your, your heart rate will tend to come up over the course of a ride and uh, this gives you the ability to look at that. Um, it also gives you the ability to um, actually break down uh, the entire ride in a really detailed way. This gives you the same plot of power along with speed, cadence, and heart rate um, and it gives you the actual numerical data here along the bottom so you can actually just scroll through the workout uh, with the bar down here and highlight different parts of the workout and look at the actual numbers which is kind of a handy feature. Um, the ability to see it graphically and numerically all in one place. Um, one other thing I should point out about SRM Win that is pretty cool is it gives you the ability to program your training zones as a function of time. So in other words you can specify that during a certain part of the season it, you need to view your training zone. Your training zones are one set of numbers, and at a different point in the season, um, you have a different uh, set of zones. And that makes a lot of sense because, of course, as the season progresses, uh, your zones ought to be changing and improving. So, um, in terms of recognizing the periodization aspect of training, SRM Win is pretty cool uh, from that perspective. Um, a couple of other user points uh, documentation on SRM Win, um, fairly poor, I found it to be. It's, uh, it doesn't do a really great job of explaining to you the features that are actually built into the software. Um, happily, there's a lot of uh, very knowledgeable users out there who can help you figure these things out in a variety of different online forums or, or different folks that you may know from your team or coaches, etc. So it's, it's got a big enough user base that you can figure these things out, but it's, it's not quite as simple as you might like it to be. Um, other than that, I found it to be pretty robust and um, like I said, even though it doesn't you know, look really great, um, it generally gets the job done.